welcome back to my fourth post. Today on this post, I'll be talking to you about Uniswap Uni USD. I'm going to see what has changed since the last time I talked about Uniswap, which has been, I think, over a week now. I'm going to be sharing with you my bullish and bearish case scenario, as well as short-term price prediction, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before we begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're now giving away four free stocks instead of three upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit, and it will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations, opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future. And you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now let's see what exactly has gone on in Uniswap since the last time we spoke. Okay. Since the last time, we had made a uh, high above $4, went almost as high as about $4.50 for coming all the way back down to the last FIB level that we have broken on top of, which was about $3.10, okay? That was also correlated with that drop in Bitcoin price action, the one that we had last week where there was bearish divergence on the Bitcoin price action. I have also made another video on Bitcoin price action today in regards to how it could affect the altcoin market. If you guys are interested in what I said in detail there, you guys can check out what I said today on Bitcoin price action. Now let's see what exactly is going on with Uniswap since we had rebounded at about that $3.10 level. So the thing, uh, time frame I'll be uh, paying attention to would be the 12 hour time frame because if we actually do make an equal or higher high here uh, with this high, uh, there is still possible bearish divergence, okay? That is something I'll be keeping uh, my attention to because bearish divergence could signal a pullback soon after. And same scenario on the daily time frame, if we actually get an equal or higher high, uh, comparing to this one right here, we could possibly still get bearish divergence, okay? So something to be uh, mindful of. Now, um, something to also take into consideration is that we have broken out of this falling wedge pattern, which had price action in for quite some time since about mid-September, okay? And that price measure target, that breakout measure target is about $4.70. We're going to see if that gets there or not. But it did come pretty close already. Uh, the last time we, uh, price action went to about $4.50. We're going to see if this time, if price action can actually surpass that measure target or even more. Now, that is the evaluation of the market so far. Let's explore my bullish and bearish case scenario for today. So for today, for today uh, the bullish case scenario would be ideally for the price action to negate this bearish divergence on the 12 hour and daily time frame. Okay, so that means it is possible that I do not see a pullback from this move. Okay, if price action negates bearish divergence, there's two ways to negate this scenario, in my opinion. One, if we actually do close with a slightly lower high than this level right here, then I do not mind the lower RSI reading, okay? That is one way to negate the bearish divergence on the 12 hour and daily time frame. The second scenario would be, I think in my opinion would be harder, is that if price action actually make a significantly higher high within the next an hour and a half, okay? And then that would give us a higher RSI reading on the 12 hour and possibly daily time frame. But on the daily time frame, we are still pretty far off. Um, the reading I'm looking to beat is about 64. Currently, we are about 60. Okay, so 
I would be looking for a pretty significant move on the daily time frame to actually negate uh, this bearish divergence and beat 64. Okay, that is, uh, those are my bullish case scenarios. It's going to revolve around the bearish divergence. Okay. And if we actually do negate it, um, I do think the likelihood of us reaching that measure target at about $4.70 is more likely in the short term. Now, in a bearish case scenario is if we actually make an equal or higher high, but not a significant, not a significant enough higher high and still get bearish divergence on the 12 hour and daily time frame. I think that's going to uh, signal a pullback uh, either immediately or very shortly after. Then I think the likely scenario would for uh, the price action to come back down to retest this $4 level and hopefully um, does not break it this time like it has done before. Okay, so these are my two scenarios for today. Let me know if you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. If uh, I hope you guys also manage your risk carefully. And if you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.